and this is probably the coolest thing that I sold yesterday. <laughs> Wednesday morning and I've got some stuff to ship out. I was watching Froggy Flips the other day and he mentioned that now is a great time to sell DVDs and I'm thinking, you know what, you were right. And these have just been sitting around my warehouse. So I went ahead and listed them. There was like 50 of them all together. They sold for $27.99 for shipping. Pulled these two cars from storage. These are two die cast cars I just got from the recent bulk buy. Together, these two sold for $27.98 plus shipping. And those are going out to a viewer named Ryan. Ryan, thank you for the support, man. I really appreciate it. All right, next is hanging out here. This is the Cincinnati Inquirer bag. I got this probably three weeks ago. It's a bulk, a lot of stuff that I bought. I put it up for auction, starting to bid at 150 because I really couldn't find any comps on it. I uh, didn't get any bids. I left it up there for another week or two, uh, put up best offers. Nobody sent any offers, so I decided to send out an offer myself. Uh, I sent out an offer of $75 plus shipping and a watcher accepted. Next is a book. This is a very old Businessmen's Club of Cincinnati book. This is from 1902. And what is cool about this book is it has B.H. Kroger, the founder of Kroger. Uh, you guys probably know Kroger the grocery store. He's in here. Uh, I had this listed for like 100 best offer for months. Wasn't really getting any bites. Sent out a best offer of $40 free shipping and someone accepted. You guys probably already know this, but you can send offers to watchers through the eBay app. The way I do it is I go to my eBay, I look at my active listings, and then I sort by number of watchers. So it'll sort which items have the highest amount of watchers. So if sales are slow right now, you can try to boost that a little bit by sending out some offers, maybe on some stuff you've had for a while that you just want to move. Okay, I sold a doll, this Baby Skates doll right here. I've had this for quite a while. It was part of a bulk buy, so I think I've got five, maybe ten bucks into it. This sold for $27.99 plus shipping. Next, we're going to D1. This is liquid tape, something I picked up retail arbitrage last year for like a buck. I've got a number of them, and I think I've sold some of them already. Uh, this sold for $8.99 for shipping. Next is in D3. This is a vintage infrared photo relay alarm. Um, Part of the stuff I'm selling for my mother-in-law. It's pretty cool. It's like new old stock. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is an F5. It's on the cart because I was actually working out of this one the other day. And I sold all of these new sealed blank reel-to-reel -reel tapes. Somebody sent me an offer of $7 each on these plus shipping and I accepted. So there's nine of them all together. They sold for $63 plus shipping. Next we got some t-shirts. We got a Rock on the Range t-shirt. That's like a rock concert uh, up in Columbus. And then this is a Styx t-shirt. These two sold for $23.98 plus shipping. These are going to your name Mario. Mario, thank you for the business. Hope you like the shirts. All right, back to D1. Didn't realize I sold something else out of here. This is silicone repair tape. Also something I picked up retail arbitrage for less than a dollar. Um, I only got a couple of these and they weren't really selling. And recently I did a sale in my store. Marked down a bunch of stuff, like 40% off. I did not mean to mark this down. But in the grand scheme of things, not really a big deal. This sold for $4.19, free shipping. And this is also going out to viewer. Your name, Henry, bought this. Henry, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Got something in the mail the other day. This is from Darren. Oh, how cool is that? All-Star Game koozie. This is when Cincinnati hosted the All-Star Game in 2015. And I went to it. It was a lot of fun. And he sent a letter with it as well. Cincinnati Picker, I watch your channel all the time. It inspired me to start thrifting and selling on eBay. I don't have a store yet, but that is the goal. Then the COVID-19 hit. I, it put the brakes on everything. I was hoping you could mention my seller name in your next video to help me get give me some more sales. I have plenty of games, puzzles, and toys, other assorted things to sell that I got from thrift stores. My seller name is DA610. Keep up the good work, Darren. Darren, thank you for the QZ. And this pandemic is certainly putting a damper on a lot of things. So, uh... Just keep at it. Once all this is over, you can go back to hitting thrift stores and garage sales and finding all kinds of good stuff. I've gotten some questions recently that I wanted to answer. First is from DIZ333. Hi, John. How do you handle non-payments on an item sold? FYI, the one I'm dealing with is a $50 sale on a seven-day auction. Thank you. I don't know what it is about auction items, but it seems like buy it now buyers pay a lot quicker than buyers when they win an auction for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, so what I do, um, there's something that eBay has that you can turn on and <clears throat> it is something where after an item ends, 
eBay gives the buyer 48 hours to pay. And if they don't pay in those 48 hours, it automatically opens a case against the buyer saying you have to pay. From that moment, it gives them an extra 48 hours. So from the time they buy it or the time the auction ends, it's a total of four days. If they don't pay, they basically get like a ding against their account. So eBay is notifying them multiple times saying you gotta pay, you know, or else. Uh, and they just do all the legwork for you. You don't have to follow up with it. So that's something I like to use and I've used it. Uh, seems like when a buyer doesn't pay and eBay, you know, starts the case and does all that, I'd say about 75% of the time the buyer ends up paying. I like it. I think it's nice. I'm. It might be something that you could only do if you have a store. So I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Okay, next is from Wasting Time. I have a question for anyone who knows. I listed an item that weighs one pound, two ounces. I have the perfect box to ship it in. It's too heavy for first class shipping. Which shipping method do I choose to ship an item in my own box that weighs over a pound? I don't want to use priority. I want to use my own box. Okay, so you can use your own box and still ship it priority mail. When you go to print your label on eBay or Pirate Ship or wherever, you just want to select that you are using your own packaging. You're using your own box. I think it says like... So it's like your own box, and then there's a button you can hit for carrier packaging, which would mean, you know, USPS, like a priority mailbox. So you can absolutely use your own box and ship it like that and still use priority mail. And if it's a pound, two ounces, that's probably the best route to go anyways. Okay, this is from Kiolo. How far is your storage from your office? How do you decide what to put in storage versus the office? That is a good question. My storage unit is about 750 feet away from my office. It's really close. It's convenient. I try to not put any like electronics or anything that I think the weather can hurt it because the storage unit does not have any kind of climate control and in the winters here it gets pretty cold. So I don't want something sitting in there, you know, freezing. Um, what I do have in the storage unit, I've got bins for pretty much all my product in there. I've got a lot of yearbooks in those bins. I think I've got a little bit of clothing, maybe some toys and things, but definitely no electronics. Um, I'm careful about that. And then in my office, I've got my electronics and just a whole bunch of other stuff too. So I really like the storage unit. It is a 10 by 10, but it has worked out really well for me. It's Thursday morning and I have a handful of eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First is an E2. This is a Disney Fairies toy. This is part of a bulk buy I got last year sometime. So I don't think I've got more than a dollar or so into it. It just sat for a while and nobody was really interested in it. Somebody finally sent me an offer of $5.50 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next is in C1. These are some spark plugs. I've been selling these for like the past year or so. I've only got about a quarter into each one and they've been selling pretty well. These four sold for $10.78 free shipping. Next is a hat. It is this Marlboro racing hat. It is snapback mesh. Got a pretty cool look to it. This sold for $10.49 plus shipping. Sold two bobbleheads that I just listed yesterday. This Pete Rose bobblehead. I listed this for $14.99 plus shipping and it just sold. And the same buyer got this Johnny Bench bobblehead for $17.99 plus shipping. The buyer paid shipping on both bobbleheads. So I will combine them and refund them the difference. I typically put bobbleheads in my antique booth because they seem to do really well, but the antique booth is closed for the foreseeable future, and I already have a ton of back stock ready to go for the booth. So as my eBay death pile dwindles, I think I might start listing some more of the antique booth stuff that I had ready to go in there. All right, next is down on A5. This guy right here, I got this in a garage show for like a quarter, new in the plastic. Had it listed for a while, didn't really have any ticker. Somebody sent an offer of $5.09 free shipping, and I accepted. And this is going out to a viewer named Jeff. Jeff, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Okay, now we're going over to D5. Sold this realistic brand compact cassette recorder. Basically, this is a knockoff of the Sony Walkman, uh, but it had the original box and everything. And it was part of the sale that I'm running. This sold for $10.79 plus shipping. Friday morning, I've got quite a few orders to go out. Uh, this stuff <clears throat> I've already pulled from storage. This wasn't in storage. This I just listed yesterday and it sold really quick. This is part of that bulk buy I just made from Josh and Morgan. I paid $3.50 for everything and I've almost made my money back. Uh, this thing powered on, but like it wouldn't really pro uh, function properly. So 
They listed it as is for parts of repair. Somebody went ahead and bought it. I think they're just going to restore it and resell it. They paid $59.99 plus shipping. This Bobby Labani diecast car, I've got $5 into this. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is a pewter blessing cup. I got this at a garage sale last year for a dollar and it i had it listed for a while and nobody was really biting that's part of the sale i'm running uh it sold for 8.99 plus shipping these two right here this brand of instructional courses it's called the great courses these can do really well i've sold quite a few of these over the years and that's a good brand to look for uh, these particular ones weren't worth a whole lot Somebody sent me an offer of $5 plus shipping, and I accepted. And this is a Ron Hornaday Superman diecast truck. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is a Garbage Pail Kids card. I've got a dollar or so into this. It was part of a bulk buy. Uh, this sold for $17.49 free shipping. Sold a board game right here, Clue. If you guys have puzzles, board games, whatever, now is the time to listen. Everybody's bored at home with nothing to do. This is the Retro Series Sealed in the Plastic. I got this in a bulk buy about a month ago, so I probably only got a couple dollars into it. This sold for $27.99 plus shipping. In a previous video, I showed how I take two long priority mailboxes and combine them when I ship out tennis rackets, board games, things like that. And I got a couple comments about why I don't do the USPS priority mail flat rate board game box. They make a box just for board games. However, it's a flat rate, and last I checked, it's like $17 or something like that. It's pretty high. And whenever I combine the two boxes, I can usually ship the item at like half that price. So that's why I do it that way. All right, next thing is another uh, roll of tape. I actually sold this Yeti thing out of here too, so we'll go ahead and pull it. This is the last one of these I have. Got this retail arbitrage for about 50 cents. Sold for $4.19 free shipping. I've had a couple things like this sell pretty cheap lately with free shipping. Um, it's because I ran a sale on my store. I think I took 40% off of anything that has been sitting four months or longer. And a couple things, I didn't really check the price of what I had it. And it's, you know, after shipping and everything, I'll probably break even. It's really not a big deal to me because it's only going to amount to like seven or eight things, I think. So... Not the end of the world. And it's going to a viewer, so if a viewer got a deal, I'm happy with it. And this one is going to a viewer named Brandon. Brandon, thank you for the business. I appreciate it. Okay, the other thing I pulled out of here is this big Yeti plush doll. It's the Abominable Snowman. Uh, this is a Saks Fifth Avenue product. I got this in a toy store down in Kentucky. We were visiting some family, just kind of shopping around. And we were in this toy store, and I saw this. They had it marked for $6, and as soon as I saw the 6 Saks Fifth Avenue tag, I'm like, you know, this might be worth something. So I looked it up, and it looked like it was selling for pretty decent money. I had this listed for $50 for maybe a month or so. It was part of the sale I'm running, so it was discounted at $39.99 plus shipping. Now we're going to B3. I showed you guys those Bose cables the other day in my death pile, and I finally got around to listing them. This is one of them right here. This goes to a Lifestyle Music Center. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Now we're going over to A2. Sold another one of these Pixar car toys. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold a camera. Already got it bubble wrapped up. This is a Yashica FX3. It is a 35 millimeter camera. It was untested, didn't have a lens. Had it listed for like $30 or best offer. Someone sent a best offer of $20 plus shipping and I accepted. Sold another board game. This guy right here, All-Star Baseball. This is a pretty cool game. Uh, vintage All-Star Baseball has a bunch of different players and everything. And in pretty decent condition considering the age too. Someone sent me a best offer of $25 plus shipping and I accepted. That baseball game is going out to a viewer named Jonathan. Jonathan, thank you for the support, man. It means a lot. All right, back to A2. Pretty sure I sold this hat. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. And this is probably the coolest thing that I sold yesterday. This is a tiny Bible. It is from 1865. It was in a random box of stuff that I just picked up and I didn't even realize I had it. This thing is like two inches tall, two inches wide. Just really neat. And I think it's pretty uncommon. This thing sold for $29.99 free shipping. This Orlando Magic hat did sell along with four other hats that were part of a multi-item order. Okay, here's all the other hats. So we got Indiana Hoosiers, Panthers, Euro Disney, and Kentucky Wildcats. Buyer reached out about doing a discount for multiple hats. So I said for all five hats, $45 free shipping, and he agreed. All those hats are going out to a repeat buyer who is a viewer named Romeo. Romeo, thank you for the continued support. I hope you like the hats. 
All right, last thing we're pulling is an F1. These are some pillow dolls. I've only got a few dollars into these. Um, this is something that you would crochet and like make the big dress for the doll. And obviously this is the kind of stuff that's selling right now because people have time on their hands. These three sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right guys, I got a package in the mail today from my good buddy Anthony over at the Froggy Flips channel. You know Froggy Flips? Yeah. Yeah? You like Froggy Flips? Yeah. You wanna open this? Yeah. I'm gonna cut the tape so you can't handle the knife. But then you can open the box. You sound good? Okay. I don't know what this is going What do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. I think you heard it made a noise. Maybe like a meow or something? I think there's like a cat in there? <laughs> No. No? You sure? Alright, open it up. Wow! Yeah. Oh, careful. Careful. It's yeah. a lot of bubble wrap. You like to pop I, that stuff, don't you? I like the bubble wrap. Well, first, let's read the letter. Hey, John, it's no secret that I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and I can never fully express the appreciation I have for the support you've shown me and my channel. But it turns out that my wife, Sarah, has become quite the CP fan as well. She is not even a reseller. However, as soon as that notification comes through, she is watching your video, sometimes quicker than she watches mine. <laughs> anyway, she has a hobby where she makes custom mugs and tumblers. She wanted to make you one, and I thought that was a great idea. We really hope you enjoy it. Hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy. Cheers, Anthony, Frogman, and Sarah. How cool is that? Does he know it's your birthday? I don't think he does. This is an extra birthday gift. Extra guy. birthday gift. Yeah, today's my birthday. April 1st. I'm an April Fool's baby. I want a bubble wrap. I want a bubble wrap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't this smash it, sweetie. I want a bubble wrap. Well, there's something in the bubble wrap. In the bubble wrap? Yeah. So we got to cut the tape. And find it out what it is. Holy cow. Wow. Look at this. That is awesome. Logo. Whoa! This is amazing. Whoa! That's really cool. It is really cool. What does it say? Red. Reds. What does this say? I don't know. It says Cincinnati Picker. That's way back. Look at that. Disney. And then what does this side say? Cincinnati Picker. What? Again? This is so cool, you guys. Thank you so much. What, what should we say to Anthony and Sarah? Thank you. Thank you, guys. I love this thing. Guys, I've been talking about Anthony's channel, Froggy Flips, for about a week or two now, I think I've mentioned him. But if by chance you have not already subscribed, I highly recommend that you go subscribe because it is very entertaining content. Anthony has a really good sense of humor. And he has been consistently putting out videos even through this whole stay-at-home crisis. So go check him out. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.